Hi everyone, so today has been, yeah, very different again. And I'll tell you why, because I discovered something about the shopping trip from yesterday. And also, we sort of come up with a plan regarding the previous generation of console games. Let me tell you about yesterday's shopping first of all. I did mention it in the previous video. And that is that we spent a long, long time shopping for new clothes. And I wasn't going to show you any of them before I was wearing them. But I can't wear one of the shirts. Now, let me just show you. I'm not going to show you the whole shirt. But this is the design of the shirt. And I got it from Jack Wills. And I like it. I think it's really, really nice. But can you guess why I can't wear this shirt? Can you guess? Well, I'll give you a little while just to think why I can't wear that shirt. No, it's not because it won't fit. I'm going to show you. Let me just show you. Where is it? Here we go. See that there? Not the camera strap. That there is the security tag. And I'll tell you a funny story about this security tag. So we were shopping yesterday. We went in Jack Wheels uh, first and purchased this shirt. And then we went to a few other shops, in and out shops all the time. And then we went to Zara. As we went in Zara, the alarms went off. So they checked the bags, as they would. And he said, oh, it's probably something left on one of the items. Perhaps they didn't detag it. I'll detag it for you. So a second person checked the shirt, said it was fine, passed it through the security uh, sort of uh, piece again on the door or the, you know, the security sensor and the alarms didn't go off. So everything should have been fine. So we carried on with our day. Um, we went and got Costa, then we got back home and then we went through the clothes shopping that we'd done because we like to just sort of, you know, just have a look back at what we'd actually purchased. And lo and behold, the security tags left on the Jack Wheel shirt. And I'm not planning on going to Canterbury for at least another two weeks. And I wanted to wear this shirt next week, really. Um, so I rang them up. There's nothing they can do remotely. They can't sort of allow us to sort of, I don't know, send it off to get the tag taken off. The only option is to go back in. But they did come up with the idea, which, yeah, it's a relevant idea, perhaps take it into a local shop and see if they'd remove it for me if I present my receipt, which they might do because they're sort of magnetic tags. So apparently other shops, uh, tag removers possibly will work and remove this as well. So I'm going to try the local Debenhams and just see if they will actually remove the tag for me. So that's the shopping out of the way. A little bit annoying. It's not the end of the world. I'll just have to... Uh, get it removed elsewhere or go back to Canterbury basically. So I also uh, mentioned about previous generation games. Now throughout the time that we had the PS4 and the Xbox 360, I think we only had one PS4 game. And I think that was like when I bought that Move Starter Pack. Uh, the rest of the games were sort of downloaded and, and you know, just not purchased. So. Uh, they were sort of, I don't even know what it's called, PSN store or marketplace games. You know what I mean. They, they were the downloadable ones. And because I was a PS Plus member, I got some quite good deals. Uh, the Xbox 360, primarily because my son plays it a lot, and we had two Xbox 360s, and my daughter also showed an interest as well. So we'd built up a, a small collection of games, probably about 10, maybe 11, maybe 12 games, I think. And uh, my son decided, right, time to get rid of them. We're not going to go back to previous gen. We're not going to play them again. So we went through them all, pricing them up to see what they would be worth if I uh, listed them on Amazon or eBay, for example. Some of them, it's so funny, and I knew this would happen, but some of the ones with dates on, uh, like uh, FIFA 13 and, and things like that, and we had an Olympic Games 2012 game or something, and because they got a year on, as soon as the new one comes out, they're pretty much worthless. So they were worth like a pound each or or one was worth 80p, you know, it's just pointless selling them. Uh, the postage would be more than the game's worth. And overall, though, all of the games came to around about 50 to 60 pounds for all of them. So not fantastic, but that's OK. I buy a couple of new games. Uh, so we decided not to list them at the moment. Instead of listing them on Amazon, we're going to pop into local... A video game store and just see what they'd give us in credit because if we get 50 or 60 pound for them we've got to then put them in jiffy bags the jiffy bags cost we've then got to do all the postage thing so if they'll offer roughly about the same then we just trade them in 
I know trading you don't generally get as good amount of money, but we'll see what they offer and I'll let you know in a future video what we actually get for them. And I'll be interested to know what you do with your games. So when you've played a game and you've decided you're not gonna play again, do you trade it in or do you sell it privately? And if you sell it privately, do you use eBay, Amazon or another website to resell your games? Let me know in the comments section below. So that was it for my excitement yesterday and also what's happened today as well. So I've, I've gone through those games, they're all ready to go, they're all boxed up um, and I've just got some testing to do on a laptop now. I'll share that with you soon in a future video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all again in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you'd like to watch another amazing video from me, please do click that top box. And if you want to subscribe to my geeky channel, click the red box on the bottom of your screen now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.